Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time and today I'm giving you all of the slay, all of the teas and yes I am moving my hands and stepping my fingers as I'm saying this because I'm definitely feeling myself with this beautiful wig install. This one comes courtesy of Amanda Hair and they sent me over their loose deep wave. This one is 250% density, 24 inches in length. It's a 13 by 4 lace wig. I've got my goodies, my java, something to moisturize my face and a little sunscreen because I'm headed out immediately after this. Don't forget to wear your sunscreen. It's extremely important. I've been loving the one from Sunday Riley paired with this. I think it's like the watermelon moisturizer also from Sephora. I'll have them in the description box if you're interested. But they've been doing wonders for my skin. Now let's work on our install. So this one is a beautiful loose deep wave wig i'm in love with the texture i'm in love with the density and how full it is and this is what it looks like on as well as from the back this hair looks like it's been wand curled or something amazing here for it completely so i'm going to start the install and i really wanted to show you guys something that i love to do like not everyone can afford a wig that is like slayed from the gods the moment you open the box sometimes we gotta you know go with something a little bit more reasonable and i want to show you how to work with that if you are a beginner and you just want to get the wig on and make it look good without having to bleach the knots tint the lace etc so originally i was going for a center part that's just my natural go to and this one has four inches of parting space so I'm going to use the even product to go ahead and um, install the wig this one is a glueless install so you'll basically be able to use water and this will come right up I use one layer and I allow it to dry and then I use a second layer and then I allow that to get a little bit tacky I applied the lace on top and from here we're going to blow dry on a cool setting until it's bonded down you'll know it's bonded down because it'll be dry to the touch and it'll kind of feel like a little bit of a suction on your head where it feels like an install and not just sitting on your head if that makes any sense now that we've gotten her pretty much bonded down let's go ahead and work on the hairline now for me i don't know about you but the hairline is more important than anything when it comes to an install if your hairline is together you can literally do nothing to the ends and it still will look good in my opinion so i pulled out all the hair that i want to use for baby hair and then i just went in and uh, worked in my electric hot comb for me this helps to like straighten the hair out from the root and this gives more of a coming out of the scalp growing out of the scalp look it also makes it straight and tamed and easier to like pluck I wasn't in the mood to pluck out I'm not even gonna cap so I'm just kind of like pulling at the hairline and just removing a little bit of the hair so that it's a lot thinner you can go in and do a little bit more but I was satisfied at this point so I just went ahead and trimmed it super duper duper short we're gonna use the edge control from bdeckbeauty.com apply it generously with the back of my edge brush so i don't have to dip my finger in there and we're going to just play with the hairline and the baby hair until we get it to how we like it we wanted it really short and again we could go in a little bit thinner so maybe after this video i'll go in and thin it out a little bit more because i wanted it to look a little bit more natural i think because the lace doesn't quite match my hairline quite yet it kind of just throws you off a little bit but you'll see how i'll make it blend with my complexion perfectly again without any smoke and mirrors or buying any special products so now let's go in and work on the hairline a little bit more i'm going to do sideburns i think sideburns always look great when you go for a no baby hair look it gives it a lot more of a jazzy look but you can definitely cut this part of the lace off and send it back and just use edge control on your natural edges to kind of like slick them down and that will give you also a very clean look as well also be sure you are blow drying on a cool setting this is going to help for a more clean install opposed to a hot setting so blow dry on cool and at the very end i'll do like a quick hot shot and that is definitely how i love it now i'm going to allow the hairline to melt and to completely dry using my melt belt from bdagbitty.com here is a look at the hair it is absolutely beautiful it almost mimics wand curls i love it so much i'm gonna take my spray bottle just filled with h2o and i'm gonna go ahead and saturate the hair i didn't feel the need to have it soaking wet but i definitely wanted it really moisturized and really really damp to be honest i loved the hair without doing anything to it so if you just want to add a little bit of a serum to it just to cancel out any friends a frizz and go i highly recommend 
that you can also do heat curls like wand curls or flexi rods to the hair um here obviously you can see i went ahead and just used my water to saturate and then i applied the mousse as my product of choice now that we're done with the ends let's go ahead and fix the hairline so sometimes when you use product on your hairline and then you blow dry and you don't blow dry on a cool setting it'll make this white cakey flaky situation and typically this is just product like the wax stick the edge control blow dried and it kind of will just make it a little bit more like messy so i went ahead with the mousse to clean that up as much as i could now i'm going in with my foundation powder this one here is something that matches my complexion i think i could have went darker i do have this product in a few different shades so i definitely would go in a little bit darker always make sure your product is a cool tone opposed to a warm tone so that it never gives that red that just doesn't look natural and i'm very generous about packing this product in now that we're done with the install let's go ahead and do our makeup off camera and then we'll talk about the wig at the end okay babies so we are back i went ahead and beat my face and put on this cute little top that i got from express the texture of the hair is absolutely beautiful it's low easy maintenance if you want to just um tame it up a little bit you just literally can add water and go with this one you don't have to do much at all and literally all you need is water now of course to jazz mine up i did use my spray bottle and this is a continuous mist spray bottle from bdkd.com my site and i have it linked in the description box and i did um pull out my mousse this here is my mousse both of these products are mine from bdkd.com if you're new or just tuning in i do have a whole line so all of my stuff i'll have linked in the description box i have the website i use the wax stick pretty much every time i install I have a wig glue, but you guys know I typically do glueless um, install, so I don't use this one as often on camera because I do switch out my wigs so often. But let me know if you guys want to see a step-by-step -step tutorial with my glue. The edge control is for me as well. This is literally a shameless plug. If I didn't mention, this one did come from Amanda Hair. This is the dust bag the wig came in. No box necessary because you don't really need the box, in my opinion. Um, it did come with pack of wig caps and then just your um, a pack of lashes and these are pretty nice um, this one is 24 inches in length 200% density all the details in a direct link are in the description box for you to check out as well as like my line the thing we use the product we use as adhesive usually we use the yellow but it's like almost gone so today I use the red which this one is a little bit stronger of a hold everything is down below for you to check out Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!